America, America the Beautiful. Thank you for coming out today. We are here, Americans by birth or by choice, citizens by heart or by heritage, America the Beautiful. Now is our time! Now is our time! On this spring day in the onset of winter, we gather on this plaza a just people. And just people. That's who we are and it's who we will stay with one another. We gather to defy those who summon hate, even carnage, in our name as Americans to Americans. We will not do one another harm. We will not turn against one another. Now is our time. to face the days of danger ahead together. Surely a band of brothers and sisters, she's and she's and he's forming a band that leaves no one behind. No one, no one gets left behind, not this time, not in our name, not in our time. We choose one another. We choose to have each other's backs. We choose to unify us during the divisive presidency of the Trump-Putin era. That said, as the daughter of a master sergeant who served in Korea in Vietnam, the brother of a Top Gun fighter pilot from the Marine Corps and then the Navy and the other brother in the enlisted army and a mother who was a nurse in the Air Force. Putin is not my president! In the days ahead, you've got to know who you are. You've got to know who you are. You've got to know what gets you up in the morning, gets you to speak up and gets you to act up. And then to learn when to clean up, because there's going to be a lot of cleanup. And we are always ready to do it. Don't complain. Boy, are there enough complainers these days. Don't complain when it comes time to clean up. This is our country, America the Beautiful. America the Beautiful. The three things that will get me up as your state representative from this beautiful city right here is fairness in how we love, who we love, how we pray, when we pray, and if we protest. Yes! I will stand up. We will stand up together. I will stand up for plan family planning for women and men. Knowing, and this matters profoundly. What is at stake here is not that we're pro-life or pro-choice. That's the wrong frame. That's a frame of a past era. Here's the frame that matters. We are moral beings. We have the capability of making moral decisions. I will make mine as a woman. You make yours as a man. And we own it together. That is how we move forward. And finally, for me, there's nothing more profound right now at stake in our democracy, and that is funding, 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 public education. As I wrap up, for the remarkable speakers that come next, I want to speak 
personally to Kentucky women for a moment and I ask all of the brothers and the uh, sisters to just hold with me as I speak directly to Kentucky women. We have a unique task ahead of us and that is to look behind the curtain of the distraction and who is there? It's Mitch McConnell. to him, just to him, because he is there and can actually just say no for the right reasons. He needs to just say no to cutting the American Health Care Act for one key reason in my mind, for so many reasons, but one key one, Kentucky women, in the job growth that's happened in this state, in the new growth, it's been in healthcare and administrative support services around that 80% of those jobs are our jobs. And they're just going after them, first thing. Kentucky women, we've got to fight for our jobs and we need all of us helping to make it happen. And Mitch, just say no to cutting our jobs. In the days ahead, when you ask what you can do, after you've gotten up, said your prayers, meditated, breathed deeply, take the dog out, pay attention to the cat. I want you to read the paper or your news, and I want you to get worked up, and I want you to call Mitch McConnell before you go out and work on your day. We Americans gathered here today know our moral authority, claim human dignity for each and every one of us, no one left behind again. Know the truth when we hear it or track it down if we don't, because the truth makes us not be afraid. Yes. That's why we're going after it. And may we model the beauty that we want to see in this good, great state that is Kentucky, home that we love. When I look out there today, I don't see American cars.